The hallmark of the sap analysis program is sampling young leaves and old leaves, but doing so comparatively so we can look at the different values in each of the different types of leaves. It's important to know what to look for in a good healthy young leaf and a good healthy old leaf. So today we're going to demonstrate what a healthy young leaf looks like and what a healthy old leaf would look like. Ideally, when you look at a strawberry plant, you're going to want young growth, which is typically smaller than the old growth. An example here would be one of these leaves, slightly less green, but still viable. An example of an old leaf would be further at the base, You want to avoid picking leaves that are too old or otherwise weathered or dehydrated. So these are the examples of good selections. What you want to avoid are old leaves that are obviously diseased or have issues or are too old and do not have sap. So if they're too dry, you'll actually skew the data. It's important to not pick leaves that are too young because that will also skew the data. So in the field guide that you'll get with each of your sap analysis kits, it'll show you the distinction between appropriate leaves to sample and leaves that you should avoid sampling. As always, if you have issues with disease or with uh, concerns for pest infestation, sample those separately so that the data remains separate.